Our first heat wave of the year is here in South Jersey and is continuing into today. We have at least three days in a row of 90 degree plus heat. We made it four days with today. You see our temperatures climb as it we went through the weekend. And today, again, we just got to about 90 degrees at the time of recording. On average, our first heat wave is starting on June 28th. So we are pretty much on average with that. And last year, our heat wave started in the exact same day, June 26th. How about that? Let's look at our noontime temperatures. Everywhere is in the 80s. The exceptions, LBI at 75 and ACY at 90, which actually got to 90 at one o'clock. But the other observations are around noon. I just wanted to update that to show you that we were still in the heat wave. It's not the most humid day either. Usually when you talk about heat, you talk about humidity here in Jersey, but that's not the case. We have a low pressure system to our east. You might be saying, Joe, low pressure systems don't uh, usually bring rain and some humidity. Sometimes, yes, but in this case, we have a northerly wind. Dew points are 60 to 65 degrees. That'll help keep the rain away for today. We see rain to the north and it'll stay to the north. It tries to make its way south, but it fizzles out by the time it gets here in South Jersey. But that will change as we go forward into the week here today will be dry but this is the amount of time you can expect to be wet on average in southeastern new jersey about 15 percent of your day for tuesday 30 percent for wednesday i wouldn't have any all day outdoor events like going to the beach or going to the pool or maybe you're working on a paving project at your home 10 percent of your day on thursday will be wet and then dry for Friday as we kick off our 4th of July weekend. For this afternoon, hot on the mainland, but not too humid. Short temperatures in the 80s. Exceptions will be LBI, where it will be around 70 degrees. If you're taking the boat out today, look at the water, almost like glass here. Under two feet is our sea heights. Here are your high and low tide times for the Atlantic Ocean water, and your wave period is 10 seconds. Tonight will be a little bit cooler than the past couple of nights, 65 to 70 degrees, a little closer to average for this time of year, and again, dry. Some areas of fog could develop late, but then they'll burn off early on Tuesday, and then cooler. We should really not have a heat wave extended into Tuesday. High temperature will be 86 degrees, spotty storms after 3 p.m., but... I wouldn't cancel most of your outdoor plans. Storm coverage should be isolated to scattered at best. Best chance for thunderstorms again on Wednesday, but even still not a full washout. Then we're heating up as we go into our 4th of July weekend, at least a start. Then as we go into Saturday and Sunday, expecting a couple of thunderstorms, but not enough to cancel any plans. Again, these are going to be isolated storms that form on Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures, as you see, cooling down more seasonable for 4th of July weekend. So overall, I think it's looking pretty good here in South Jersey. Coming up at 630 tonight, we'll talk more about the rain chances. Have a little fun with it as well. And meanwhile, for the latest in South Jersey weather, you can follow me on social media or go to our website, thepressofac.com slash weather.